what it is or read that you feel me? Nah. <laughs> Nah, they're gonna be checking. Why keep fucking up? Fuck, bitch. What's good, y'all? Tapping into the Urban Mogul's will be right here. We dropped the most game, man. Part two, you feel me? Right here with a real special guest. He goes by the name of G Dirty. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes, sir. Hell yeah, man. So, you know, part one tapped in about your life. You know what I'm saying? Sam Mattel and all that good stuff, man. But, you know, we're going to lock in right now and, and jump into the music. You feel me? Mm -hmm. How you get inspired? Who inspired you to, to jump into the game of music? Yeah. My cutty, my cutty Pino, man, he's really the one who really started, like, was with the rapping, you feel me, writing and shit. Yeah. Uh, this was when we was kids, and oh, man, I don't know, man, just ever since then, just always fucked around. Yeah, yeah. Just fucked around, express something. Yeah. Okay, uh, something happened, or or you, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, you hear it, ooh, ah, yeah, and you're like, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, so yeah. You, you just go over there and start writing about stuff, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. yeah. And uh, like I said, man, uh, 2015 is when I really took it serious. So. Shit. But before that, so you were rapping before, you know, the 2015 right. though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fucking yeah, around yeah. shit? You, we, we, we used to um, get tellies. Okay. And fucking uh, going to, uh, you know, little ciphers, and little ciphers, uh, little ciphers uh, little, put it in the closet, man. Yeah. Look, you know what I mean? Make a little hood studio, yeah. whatever, fucking Hell yeah. and all that. Um, do you remember uh, the name of your first song? Did you drop it on YouTube or any kind of platforms, or was it just a uh... MySpace? Oh, MySpace. Oh, yeah. Okay, MySpace. Yeah, Man. that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Little diss track. Yeah. Still, oh, the diss track. I was a kid. Damn, like, he's on them. Hit him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> stupid <laughs> shit, bro. Hell yeah. Some stupid shit. Um. Did did anybody give you that confirmation of, of you know what I'm saying like oh yeah you got it bro you should continue to rap or is it something that you just knew within yourself? It was both. Yeah. It was both. You know what I mean? I had brothers that would tell me like yo bro you raw you feel me? Yeah. You know? And especially my cutting mic you feel me? Like I said like he was always the one who was trying you feel me writing rapping and all that shit you know what I mean? And then I just you feel me fuck it I'll do the same thing and it was just practice. I to me I think I. Man, bro, I, I came a long way because I used to suck. Now I hear my shit, I'm like, damn, that shit's hella gotcha, funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, bro, what the fuck? Shit yeah. Playing. You got to be confident, though. Yeah. I'm um, bro. Real yeah. shit. Uh, who, who was some artists that you looked up to at the time? You know what I'm saying? Around 2015 or even before that? Well, of course, like, you know, Barry, Legends, Mac Dre, uh, My Figures. Okay. Um, but I used to listen to, like, Bone Thugs, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Like, uh, Twister, yeah, shit like that, like a lot of fast rappers. Yeah, I asked that, bro, cause like I told you before, these cameras was on. Y your sound is is uh, it, it got that Bay kind of sound. You feel me? It's different yeah, from yeah, other yeah. people. Um, how how do you come about that sound, bro? And you know, started choosing, you know, like beats that sounded like you know, like your sound. I just started playing with hella different beats, bro. Yeah. I got on whatever type of beat was sent to me at first. When I yeah. first started doing music, whatever beat was open for free, bam, I don't care if it sounded weird, whatever. Yeah. After a while, I figured out, oh, shit, bro, you could bite beats off YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. I, mean? Fact, I didn't even yeah. know that until recently, too. Yeah, bro, you know what I mean? Get the little lease, whatever, bro, $20, yeah. $30. And shit, just from there, bro, I just started fucking with different beats. What, what beats were you looking into, though, when you was looking stuff up? Like, well, like shit. Future, uh, you know, Raw Wave type shit, you know what I mean? Lil Bean type beats. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Ty, uh, what's it, T Grizzly type beats? T Grizzly? Beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with, I like T Grizzly. Yeah, beats. hell yeah. Um, shit, bro, what else? I don't know, a bunch of, I try to do uh, even Afro type of beats. <laughs> I, like, I fuck with that type yeah. of beat, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afro, Afro music be going, bro. What's his name? Egyptian, uh, uh, Burner Boy, Burner Boy. Be I ain't going, I'm gonna have to tap into that. I ain't, I ain't never Burner heard that. Boy be going. They from, yeah. like, I don't know, South Africa or like England or some shit, but they African. You yeah. Know, they be, shit, they be um, you ever, uh, 
did any shows or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. I did a lot of shows. Well, what's that like? Um, how does how does that add to basically uh, your arsenal? You know what I'm saying? Or, or your rap sheet? You feel me? Like. Well, it's, it's shows is always good. So because people see you in person. You right. Know what I mean? That's always a good thing, but. Um, not everybody's a performer though. That's yeah, what I'm saying. You feel me? Though, like I, I'm not, like I'm one of my favorite rappers. I ain't gonna say his name, but you know what I'm saying. In in person, he he's just not the business. You feel yeah, me? But in the, yeah, when I'm yeah. slapping in the car, it's like turn that shit up. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, shit, bro. I didn't choke some shows before. You feel me? Yeah. Fucking drinking before I go on mm. stage, or just even you feel me being damn, nigga, it's a lot of people. You know, right, I mean? right. I really fucking care. I haven't uh, studied my lyrics before going in. You know what I mean, shit like that. But you know what it really is when you have your people, your brothers on stage, mm. with you and you hear them, you hear yeah. them rapping your shit. It just makes yeah. you more kind of like, okay, damn, bro. Yeah. Now you more into the music. Cause I didn't have shows where I have my brothers on stage and. Bro, we was just the most lit one, and we were right, right. for um, it was it was a uh, dream big shout out talks, bro. Uh, you feel me, dream big. Uh, dream talks, big. he's he, I don't know. Yeah, he tongue. Yeah, uh, yeah I heard his music production. Before. Yeah, nah, he he's a uh, he he's a promoter, bro. And he, oh, okay. He this show in San Jose, and uh, it was a nigga named Go uh, Go Time, bro. Go, yeah, Got Time, Go Time. Yeah, he was a tongue rapper from Englewood, but he was he, uh, headlining. Bro, that, that show was popping, bro. We, we lit that shit up. That shit was dope. Yeah. Uh, that shit was dope. What, what do you take from that show, though? Did, did it make you, like, I need to drop more music so I get back into the performing? Yeah, or, or? yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah I, I wanted to do more music, bro, more shows, you feel me? But I don't know. Fucking uh, COVID happened. That shit slowed everything down. Cause right. It was starting to pick up, but then it got slowed down, you feel me? COVID yeah. Fucked everything up, really. What was you doing over uh, COVID? Did, did you feel, like, you have more time to cook up, or was it like, yeah. damn, like, you I ain't uh, motivated? I had a lot of time to cook up, bro. Yeah. I, a lot of my drafts was during that time, bro. Oh, okay. You know I mean, albums and shit like that. Yeah. I got a lot of albums, like, I got like six yeah. albums out. Yeah. Like, a lot of songs that, uh, you feel me? And that, that was my, that's actually my next question. Uh, when it comes to dropping a mixtape or album, what is it that you look in order to piece the, the project together, you feel me? Do you like every track to kind of sound the same, or do you have a storyline to go with it, or? Shit, with the album, nah, not really no storyline. I just whatever you got put together. Whatever I got put together. I try to, you feel me, organize it a certain way, but pretty much. Yeah. yeah. But if I, what I'm trying to do now is, bro, like, <clears throat> if I do uh, songs that I just rap in, I put them in one album, and I do songs where I fuck with the auto tune in. You feel me? Yeah. So put those in another album, so it's kind of like the same type of vibe. You yeah. Know? Uh, do you feel like you you got a chance to 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 put Sam and Tail on your back? Since I mean, there there's of course artists everywhere, bro. But uh, I don't feel like anybody has made that stamp to be like. When you think of Sam Mattel, you think of this person. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shit, bro. Keep it real. When you think of Sam Mattel, to me, in my eyes, bro, I think of Cutthroat Mo Click. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Real talk. You know what I mean? And shit, knives, knives in motion be going. Yeah. Uh, Max Mason, you feel me? He be going. Yeah. So, uh, that's just to me. I think they, the, the homie Max Mason, he has a song with, uh, what's his name, bro? Brother Man That Died, bro. Uh, uh from yeah. LA. Uh, he a rapper. Fuck, what's that? Who, uh, what's it called? Draco? Draco. Oh, uh, okay. Only Sammy Tail nigga with a uh, feature with shit, that. Shit, you gonna have to show me that one there. I gotta hear that, that shit. shit. Yeah. That shit go, bro. That shit go. Yeah, on yeah. top of that, like I said, Cutthroat Mo Click. Them niggas, they, they, their music is different, bro. Right. See, I, I, want, I want to do music like that. They, yeah. You hear their music, bro? It's a different vibe from what I be doing. And it, in, a, in a better way to me. Right, right. And, but, yeah. Um, do you when so because you being you know Filipino or whatnot, yeah. uh, and you know when Islanders they they do music they some of them I'm not saying all of them but some of them they have like that that Islander type of beat in their music you know what I'm saying yeah 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 do you do you aim for those kind of beats or or do you try to just do whatever yeah I, I try to do whatever bro I'm not yeah. too, I'm not too good with the uh, the island like I can't like. There's better people that right, right, right. I, I notice my skill in different different, you feel me? Yeah. Things where I could uh harmonize and shit like right, that. Right, right, right. Cause nowadays, bro, what I try to do is I, I, I like to have a little harmony hook and then just mm. try to rap the uh, verse, you feel me? Yeah. 
man, bro, but it's it's a hard thing to uh, to master. Right, right, right. You know what I mean, um, so when it comes to music, bro, where do you plan on, on taking it? You got a vision? You have any goals, or it's just going with the flow at the moment? Well, right now, bro, we got this body movement going on, bro. And it's a bunch of other Filipino artists from all around the Bay, California, really. Right. And we coming together. We trying to do, we having these like seven minute, 10 minute ciphers, you feel me? And we trying to connect all, all the bodies from different, like different areas. You feel right. me? Whether you're from uh, Sacramento, Bay Area, Stockton, wherever, 209, uh, LA. You know what yeah. I mean? Oregon, you know what I mean? Washington, wherever. Like, that's what we're trying to do. Because, real talk, there's not a lot of unity amongst our people. Right. I'm just speaking from for Filipinos, you know what I mean? Yeah. But we're trying, we're trying to bridge that gap. And I'm talking about the Padres that were born here. Because I was born here. I'm American Filipino. Right. Filipino American. Filipino American. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. And uh, compared to the ones back home, you know what I mean? There's, there's always that. A little tension or what? Yeah, 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 I would say. Yeah. You know I mean? little, or if, especially if you don't know how to speak the language. Right. I feel you. You know what I mean? I feel you 100%. It's like that with my people, too. Yeah. Um, you know, being Filipino slash Islander type, um, how do you stand out, bro, in, in, in the, you know, in the music game? Because, you know, the African-Americans, blacks, I'm, I'm not trying to offend nobody. I don't know how to, what's the right way to say it, but you know, um, that that's like their lane. You feel me? Yeah. And you know, my people, we barely getting into the game, and you know, a lot of your people, they got that good voice, the harmonizing voice, and you know, everybody got talent, bro. So how do you how do you stand out? What makes you different from everybody? I don't, honestly, bro, I just try to. I don't know. I can't. <sighs> How am I gonna say this? I, it is a brother man's game, bro. Yeah. You feel me? The rap game is a black man's game. You feel me? Let's keep it real. Yeah. Um, but to me, Filipinos been in the music game a very long time. Whether it's DJing, promoting, right? You know what I mean? Making, producing, yeah. making beats. Since hip hop started in the Bay Area, Filipinos been in the in the scene. You right. Feel me? These are facts. That the homie yeah. Aquin, uh, big homie from the city, bro. Yeah. I uh, mean, free, 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 bro, man. Um, he, he'll tell you. You feel yeah. me? But <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> you feel yeah, me? Yeah. It's uh, I just shit, bro. I just do me, bro. Whoever yeah. fuck with my music, fuck with my music. I'm, I'm, I try to make music for everybody, but yeah. really, I make music for shit. It, I, what I feel for, what I, you know what I mean? Me. I feel you, man. You know, mu music, music brings everybody together, man. Yeah, hell and I, that's yeah. why I'm not trying to pinpoint it like, oh, blacks own it or Mexicans own it, or, you yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Because yeah. it, it's something that everybody can own. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's yeah. different, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Even, even with my, like what I'm saying, it's e even with the Filipino people, like, there's some Filipinos who hear my music and be like, yeah. oh, nah, like I'm not, I don't right. fuck with them because of how I am. Yeah. Mind you, there's a there's a lot of di like a lot of like we were talking earlier, uh, colonial mindset. It's a lot right. of difference between our people. Right? Hell yeah. This is it. And that's what makes it hard, <clears throat> hard for for rappers, for Filipino rappers. Right. Right? Hell yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not I'm not in the poly lane. See, the thing is, just keep it real. Like, there's lanes for every group. Like, mm -hmm. if, if I was a gangbanger now, right, if Crip, Blood, North Day, whatever. Yeah. I'd have I'd have the North Day crowd, the Crip crowd. Right, right, right. You feel me? Shit like yeah. that. For Filipinos, it's, it doesn't really, there's not that big of a... Of a fan base. A fan yeah. base like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Um, who, who's, some, who's some people, my bad, we're going to bend the block real quick. Uh, who, who's some people that you look forward to hopefully collabing with, uh, whether it's Bay Area, LA, or just anywhere? Shit. Uh, Bob Marley's sons, man. <laughs> Kimani yeah. Marley, That'll bro. Be hard. Yeah, yeah, bro. All his sons. <laughs> shit, I can't, I can't name him right off the bat, but Kimani yeah. Marley for sure. I fuck with that guy, man. Tough. Hell yeah. Um, what's some, what's some things people could look forward to in the near future for you? Shit. Maybe man. even just this year, if you want to just, you know what I mean? <laughs> more videos. More videos. Yeah, more videos. Uh, more ciphers with the bodies. Okay. You know what I mean. And it's pretty much it. I'm gonna keep it real. I, I don't 
I'm gonna try to do this music thing for a while, but you know, yeah. shit gets expensive, man. Yeah, I feel you. you know what I'm you saying? Know, I'm, I'm gonna keep pushing. You feel me? So uh, that's all you could do, bro. Put your best foot forward every yeah, time. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shit finna pop. You get get mama a mansion. You <laughs> Hell yeah. Drink card. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, let the people know where they can find you, social media, music, all that good stuff. Okay, yeah, so just type in G-D-E-R-T-Y. That's for, you know, all digital platforms, YouTube, uh, for Instagram, it's uh, G-D-E-R-T-Y, 650, you feel me? Right on, bro. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I appreciate your time, it's you know what I'm saying? It's all love, man. Appreciate you linking up, man, for sure. You got a good story, you got some good music, so if y'all ain't heard, Make sure y'all tap into him, man. Yes, sir. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell. If you ain't watched part one, go back, watch part one, come back, watch part two, or however you want to do it, you know what I'm saying? But look, y'all tapping into Urban Mokes with B. Right here, we dropped the most game. Let's go.